Hey guys, I'm Datta Benur Creation here. You may wonder what is this? Let me introduce Mr. Roshan. Hi Datta. He is going to explain everything. Hello everyone. So I'm a representative of Green Gyro, Green Gyro Powertech. So this is the first of its kind uh, innovation which actually comes with a 0% input but 100% output flywheel technology. Let me show you how. So Tata, what yeah. you actually see over here yeah. is actually the entire machine. It's a 50 kilowatt uh, machine which is here. Okay. So it consists of parts such as you have your flywheel rotors over here. Okay. So it consists of two over there. These are almost like uh, 2.5 ton in weight. Okay. It's both a, are at single. No, put together. Together. Okay. Then you have uh, a 15 HP motor over here which is connected to it. Mm -hmm. You have the conveyor belts and all of it. Okay. And here you have the alternator. So the alternator capacity over here, what there is, it's 50 kilowatt. 50 kilowatt. Okay. So uh -huh. this is the entire brainchild of uh, of the technology that we're talking about. So it will convert your kinetic energy into electrical energy and it will give you the output. Okay. So the other components is the distribution box. Mm -hmm. So distribution box consists of certain circuitry which is inside, software embedded, which would actually state the number of kilowatts which is going to be generated. So you have this particular uh, output panel here which will showcase the voltage which comes in, it will uh, showcase the kilowatts and all of it. Okay. And over here is the main bus bar. Uh -huh. So the bus bar setup is common over here which comes in. So we have four different panels. Mm -hmm. The first panel will show the power which is coming from ESCOM. Okay, that's wow. yeah, okay. we have named it as ESCOM so that okay. for any particular yeah. state, Understood. they can add it. Okay. So it's just an uh, electrical issuing com uh, company. Okay. And then we have the 15 HP motor, the power which goes on to the motor. This is the output which comes from the distribution box, okay. you can see. Mm -hmm. And we kept also an output panel over here. Okay. This is the motor supply box. Okay. So the reason why we have actually kept this particular box over here is to show you that after the input goes in, okay. only for about 10 seconds is where the machine requires a kick. Okay. The motor so will start running. Starting time. It, yeah. it only requires that a small uh, 10 to 20 seconds. Okay. Right after that, you will hear a noise in the distribution box, which means okay. that the power gets cut. Okay. And then we will actually pull this lever out mm -hmm. to show that there is no input. What is this lever? So yeah. this particular lever is the one which connects the input power which comes from okay. ESCOM. Uh -huh. It goes and that's when the motor supply starts running. Okay. Once the distribution box actually makes a particular okay. noise which will show that it cuts off the input power. Okay. Then it's just a, a self-generating machine. The entire okay. motor is dead. Mm -hmm. But because of the gravity in which it will work okay. and because of the gearbox assembly all that which is there. Okay. The wheel will keep turning and it will convert your kinetic energy to electrical energy. Okay. So okay. let me show you the entire demo now. Sure, sure. sure. Yeah. So to help you with the entire demonstration, we have another representative from Green Gyro. This is Kiran. So Kiran is going to show you how exactly it starts. He's going to be over here when he presses it. And we have our other person in charge, Mr. Shivam over there. So Shivam will also uh, help us in the entire operation, starting the entire motor and stuff like that. So to show you how it started, so here the starter is there. So once Shivam actually pushes it, you would see that it starts rotating. So the entire wheel keeps rotating over here. Kiran is pressing the particular start button here. So this particular machine will take its input from the motor supply and then if you concentrate on the distribution box you will hear a particular noise which will come. So this input which comes over here will keep showing the, the voltage which we get from the grid, the RPM at which it's running. This, the noise which you heard would show that the motor supply is actually cut over here. So we So they come over here, we are actually going to disconnect the entire power which comes from the motor. So you can actually keep the meter over here and uh, see that particular reading. So it's showing zero. That means the zero input which is actually coming over here. But come to the output side of things. So now we are seeing that the input is zero. But when you look at the particular output over here, you will see that it's actually producing about 37, 38, sometimes it goes up to 40 also, it depends on the voltage which kicks in. So this is, these are the amps which are coming out, so it shows that the power is being generated. Now the output which flows from here, comes all the way to the distribution box, and here if you actually 
beautiful. You would see in the kilowatts which is being produced. You can see that right now it's showing with the 228 volt which comes, 33 kilowatt is used. So sometimes we get about 250, it becomes more. So when the voltage is more, the number of kilowatts becomes more. So the power which is being generated goes back from this thick cable which comes at the back into the bus bar, into the distribution box. Now you all may ask how, what is the output that we can show that there is a particular output being received. For that we have actually connected it to a particular motor at the back. So please come along. Let me show you. Why? So you may ask as to why we have connected to an external appliance because everyone has use case scenarios over here so once the power is being produced it has to be distributed somewhere so we are trying to show that the distribution takes place over here so if you actually come here and see the entire lining is over there so Kiran will just switch it on you will see oh, okay. that the voltage is at 400 the amps is still showing zero now when he presses but you would see that the amp generation starts and then over here the pump actually takes in water so this is to show you the proper use case uh, scenario and to prove the proof of concept that with 0% input you are getting a 100% out so this is what we are trying to show you motor is going to kick start the entire flywheel process correct correct so after that is there any power supply for this motor no like what i showed already. you that time okay the reason why we actually kept this motor supply box is mm -hmm. so that we'll show you that when the input comes that the motor will get that kick start power where only for 10 to 15 seconds it ran post which you actually heard that noise mm -hmm. after which the power was off mm -hmm. And we pulled the lever, which shows that there is no input current which goes in. Okay. So this motor is only required only to kick start the process. Okay. Post that there is zero power which goes. Okay. Then only based on the gear system and the mechanisms which we kept inside. That's uh -huh. like the secret sauce of the entire here product. the gear uh, system yeah, which is there. inside over okay. here. Mm -hmm. That's like our entire secret sauce of okay. the entire process. Okay. So only because of that mechanism is where the entire wheels keep 
rotating okay. and that produces the kinetic energy which gets converted to electrical energy okay. and then goes out. Okay. And one more question. So mm. once you you know turn off the uh, power, mm. is there any pop, uh, you know power supply from the generator to the motor after that? No, no, no. no. The motor is completely dead. Dead. The okay. motor is dead. Okay. So that's where I even showed you all the power. Right? There is no power which goes to the motor. The motor is completely dead. Only because of the gravitational forces and because of the flywheel, the weight and all of it which it, uh, runs, and because of the gear boxes inside, that that is where all of the power of moves. Okay. Guys, I hope you got the clarification from uh, Mr. Roshan. So he explained me very well and what is all that's his functions and all. So yeah, that's Just it. Just here.